Okay, so we're back in trout country, uh, upstate New York. Um, today we are leaving Lakers alone for the most part. We'll look for them maybe later. Uh, we're going to target brown trout and you know any other salmonoids. So the strategy here is I'm going to look kind of shallower. I got 70 degree water. I'm going to look in like 35, 40 feet of water. I'm going to troll. I know that's lame, but we're going to troll to try to locate a couple fish, and then we're going to try to jig them up. Uh, so I'll troll this crystal minnow about two, three knots, run around a little bit, uh, work some rocky ledges, look for bait, and maybe with a little bit of luck we can catch a couple fish jig too. But that's not a guarantee because it usually isn't. Trying to find a couple of these brown trout. That's what we're doing. See that rod tip? Yep. We're trolling. Boring old trolling. That's a Yozuri crystal minnow. Spanish mackerel lore I like actually. I see. I saw a lake trout on my screen, so I stopped. Of course, on the pause. Alright, something headed on the pause, so. Maybe I was trolling too fast. Uh, that means I had something following my, my Yozuri. God, what a mess I've created. I went to try to <laughs> mark some lake trout on my screen. Trolling this. Oh, I lost him. Uh, was a brownie, my guess. All right, that's a good sign of things to possibly come my way. So I think I found a couple. Okay. Got him! Got him! What is that? Lake trout? Holy shit! Sa uh, salmon? No, it's a brown. Jeez Christ! Holy shit! Ah! Oh, I found him trolling. I don't know if that's a salmon or a brown. I can't tell yet. It might be a salmon. Uh, I always thought it was the tail. I think that's a salmon. Holy crap! Oh, that's Atlantic salmon. Cool. Well, that's not a bad fish at all, huh? This is a 25 inch Atlantic salmon. That's not bad. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> it, was that was an intense smash at the boat, man. He almost ended up in the boat. I'm allowed to keep one Atlantic salmon. Um, these are stock fish. Don't, they, don't kid yourself. These are wild uh, Atlantics. Um, there is some bait cruising around. I saw it pop in on the screen a couple times. So, uh, we'll see. Got him. Lake trout. I guess. Oh, lost him. It's probably a laker. Could have been a brown or, or um, salmon, though. Is that another salmon? I don't know, I dropped him. Looks like another salmon. Holy shit, that was a tank of a brown trout. Uh, I had a couple more swipes. Uh, I think one or two might have been big browns. I'm back on the hunt right now a little bit. be a pike man. Missed a lot of fish jigging man. I just kind of winged it. Sucked at it. It's a big trout man. Unfortunately, I got him trolling, which is kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Wow, what a brown, man. What a brown. What a brown. Holy good, good crap. Get out of the drive, man. Didn't, much, didn't give me too much of a run, but man, some big digs. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. 
get out of the rudder there. There we go. That's a big brown trout, man. I'm gonna release this fish. I, I really didn't mess them up too bad. Perfectly flicker minnow. Woo! Woo! Oh, look at that brownie, man. Look at that brownie. <laughs> man, what a fish. What a freaking tank here. I'm gonna put him back, man. Oh, yeah. Bye. My God, that was a serious brown trout. It sucks I caught him trawling. Uh, I was just trawling that. Berkeley. My hook set game wasn't that tight today. That was kind of the, I think the major flaw. I probably could have had one of my best days of, you know, salmon or trout fishing uh, if I had a little better hook sets today. So some of it's my fault, but we got some real good quality out of the whole ordeal. So let's uh, let's pick up tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're gonna give this another shot somewhere else. I think I've got some thunderstorms coming pretty soon. Uh, we'll see if we pick anything else. And then maybe pick up in the morning. Maybe we'll pick up this afternoon, eat some lunch see how the weather looks so not bad okay so i got demolished by pleasure boat traffic yesterday afternoon we had some thunderstorms roll through and i gave it a shot it was just jet skis and uh, you know boogie board just everything i'm going back to look for browns and salmon and potentially lakers right now again yeah the thing i was doing kind of dumb is when i was hooking those fish on the jig yesterday uh i think i was just tearing the hook out of their mouths man i was really going a little aggressive i am the biggest tourist to this type of fishing i really am not good at it i don't know anything about it, it cost me 28 dollars to fish here for seven days you bet i'm gonna go hard and catch fish however i can as i'm feeding into the the new york state money machine anyway let's not talk politics let's just talk fishing um so yeah i got an extra 10 behind me I'm gonna head out and uh, jig on those rocks again. Let's see what happens. Just surprised I haven't seen a lake trout yet. There hasn't been one laker here, huh? Isn't that funny? No lakers in the mix. Got him. Got one. Holy fuck. Smoked. Holy crap, that's a brown trout? Only got a 12 pound leader on there, which isn't bad. Man, look at the size of that brown trout. Whew. Toad, 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 toad brown, man. Whew. Come on, get in the net. There's, they don't like nets. Oh my God, that fish might be 20. That fish is simply massive. Massive brown. And maybe not 20, I'm exaggerating, but he's... Looks like the size of the fish that swiped earlier and I, I missed him. Oh my God. Girth. Girth on this thing. Oh my god. That's that is the biggest brown trout I've ever seen in my life. Guys, I gotta show you this fish. Holy guacamole. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Look at that brown, huh? God. I don't even 
know. It's probably a 30 incher. I'm just trying to, I can't even grab his tail, man. Look at that brown, man. That is the biggest brown I've ever seen in my life. That water's not that warm up top. He should be good. Oh, he's good. Same deal. He rocked it, man. He rocked that. He rocked, he rocked that mini Mac. I haven't had a whole lot of hits this morning, but my first fish being a 10 pound brown trout is uh, uh, one of those things, quality over quantity. Oh my God, I had a fucking tank just swipe at the boat. Holy shit. You gotta be kidding me. Slammed it. Slammed it. I just got slammed here in 60 feet. Wish I had the camera on. That was probably the craziest hit I've ever had. Yep, that's a big brownie on the Mackinac. Woo -hoo -hoo. What a stud. My God, my God, my God. He's, I think he smashed it twice and I missed him the first time. Woo. Look at this brown trout on the jig. He smashed my Mackinac shaft. He is over 10 pounds, easy. That is an easy, easy monstrous fish. All right, let me take good care of you. Oh, got the hook out, so. Gosh, what a fish. What a big fish. 28 inch brown. Woo. What a monster. What an absolute pig. There he is, guys. There he is. Alright, I think we're ready to release him. He's in good shape. Serious fish for a jig. Got him. Got him. Might be a Laker though. Oh, felt like Laker. Nope. No Laker there. 70 feet. Holy crap. So deep. Is that another brownie? That's a smaller one actually. Yeah, that's actually a smaller one. Could keep that one. A little four or five pounder is good. Busting up there. I saw saw one busting on bait out there. That's a better one. A yeah, little little five pounder. Make good 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 table fare. Oh, he's got a slaunched up jaw too, man. Look at this thing's jaw. He's zombied. Got ourselves a zombie. Zombie alert. All right, keep one. Smaller one for the table. And this one's about five, five pounds, not as crazy. So keep this one. Uh, well, I just hooked a monstrous brown here at the boat. I was futzing around. Oh, he's not monstrous, but he is a good one uh, on the jig. And my camera off was just kind of cruising around. And he actually just j jumped and stroked me, etc. Good fish. It's 
Still a decent one, right? All right. Let's get you on your way, right? Ooh, he's good. He's a good one. Another good one. He's not bad. He's releasing all that brownie air. Yeah, it's a good one, though. Well, I think uh, my window of opportunity to catch fish has kind of ended. So I'm headed in right now. Um, so that was two days worth. So I think I learned from my mistakes yesterday about you know ripping them out of the water with the hooks that I didn't miss as many fish today after getting the hits. Um, I switched over from a medium fast action rod, which I like for lake trout, to the medium heavy um, action. And it seems like I, I was a little more forgiving on my hook set. All we used the last two days to jig, that's the one ounce mini Mac. Um, and uh, picked up one of those fish trolling. So I jigged five trout that weren't Lakers of, of quality in the last two days. And, um, you know, just keep in mind, cut me a little slack. I trout fish five days out of the year. Um, I paid my $28 for my New York State uh, license for one week. $28 to fish here for one week. Um, uh, we put back those bigger browns. They were in good shape. Those two browns we got today were the biggest browns I've ever caught jigging before. Uh, open water stuff like that was cool. I saw those fish in about 60 feet of water drop down on their heads. They hate. It's that simple. 60 feet down is pretty deep for browns. I have a feeling the bait was what drove them down so deep. Um, no lake trout for me today. And uh, yeah, that was kind of cool. So we had a pretty good two days of, you know, trophy trout fishing, I guess you can call it. Yeah, so we'll be in uh, New York for a couple more days and then back to North Carolina. So good little, uh, good little couple of trips, huh? I only trout fish five days a year, so cut me some slack if I was doing something atrociously wrong. I'm sure I was, but whatever.